We here at Rock Gut Podcast care about people's feelings, and so we want to let you know that the views expressed in this show do not reflect anybody who sponsors or who speaks on this podcast. We're just talking shit, and you should just grow a pair. Ladies, leave my island. If you survive recruit training, you will be a weapon. You will be a minister of death praying for war. But until that day, you are pukes. You are the lowest form of life on earth. You are not even human fucking beings. You are nothing but unorganized, grabastic pieces of amphibian shit. Do I make you nervous? Sir! Sir, what? Are you about to call me an asshole? Sir, no, sir! How tall are you, Private? Sir, five foot nine, sir! Five foot nine? I didn't know they stacked shit that high. You trying to squeeze an inch in on me somewhere, huh? Sir, no, sir! Bullshit, it looks to me like the best part of you ran down to crack your mama's ass and ended up as a brown stain on the mattress. I think you've been cheated. Did your parents have any children that lived? Sir, yes, sir. How about they regret that? You're so ugly you could be a modern art masterpiece. Pick him up and set him down, pile. Quickly, move it up. Were you born a fat, slimy scumbag, you piece of shit, private pile? Or did you have to work on it? Get your ass up there. Do you mean to tell me that you cannot do one single pull-up? You are a worthless piece of shit, pile. Get out of my face. Get up there, snowball. Quickly. Get your fat ass over there, Private Pile. Oh, that's right, Private Pile. Don't make any fucking effort to get up to the top of the fucking obstacle. If God wanted you up there, he would have miracled your ass up there by now, wouldn't he? Say yes, sir. Get your fat ass up there, Pile. Say yes, sir. Your ass looks like about 150 pounds of chewed bubble gum, Pile. You know that? Say yes, sir. Get up here, fat boy. Quickly, move it out. Move it out, Pile. Move it out. You climb obstacles like old people fuck. You know that private pile? Get up here. You're too slow. Move it. Move it. Are you quitting on me? Well, are you? Then quit, you slimy fucking walrus looking piece of shit. Get the fuck off of my obstacle. Get the fuck down off of my obstacle. Now. Move it. I'm going to rip your balls off so you cannot contaminate the rest of the world. I will motivate you, Private Pile, if it short dicks every cannibal on the Congo! Jeez. Check, baby, check, baby. One, two, three. Uh, uh, uh. OJ's dead. Go fucking in the street. All I want to do is zoom, 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 and boom, boom. Just, Just fuck OJ. <laughs> hey, what's so up, gl- bitches? I'm so glad he's dead. He's such a piece of shit. Did you see all the memes? That ah, fuck. I saw a good handful of them, yeah. Where they were like, fake tweets like, I yeah. did that shit. <laughs> I did that shit. Because he knew he was going to die of cancer. I fucking... <laughs> I fucking love that thing that Dave Chappelle, it was like Dave Chappelle's telling oh, yeah. a story about him and Chris Tucker and OJ and hanging out and shit. And like after OJ, he's like, let's take a picture. And they're like, nah, no, we don't think so. Uh, we're good. And when he leaves, they're like, that nigga did that shit. Like, OJ did it. OJ did it. <laughs> yeah, he fucking did it. And I, dude, I, I hope his fucking cancer was painful and. I yeah, man. I, hope he's, I wish it was butt cancer. I hope he's burning in hell. You know Actually, I, um, I saw this thing. So when I got home from work today, because I work every day except for Sunday. God damn, um, man. There was this uh, guy I watch on uh, YouTube. Yeah. Uh, it's a political thing. Yeah. A liberal hive mind. And it was. Oh, yeah. I love liberal hive yeah. mind. Yeah. And great. he had the one where it was like this fucking black lady on fucking uh, <laughs> on CNN of all things, you know, the communist news network. Yeah. Oh, yeah and she's yeah. all. Yeah. Well, you know, everybody's like, oh, OJ did it. But you know what? 
I hope he did it because they deserve it. And they're like, what do you mean? Jesus well, Jesus fuck. I, she's like, that's part of reparations and shit like what? that. <laughs> yeah, killing white people's part of reparations. Holy shit, he was married to her. They had children with her, you <laughs> fucking retard. Oh, yeah, and this bitch was oh like some God. big old braided head, giant forehead fucking bitch. I am so glad CNN put them on. I know. It's great. It I, just, like, I like watching it when they have to admit that Trump was right. It just, <laughs> and you could see her head twitch, her eyes twitching. It just adds to fucking, like, the whole... See what we're saying? You fucking fake fuckers? Nigga, like, I told you. Dude, that's horrible. Yeah. That's god-awful shit. All right. But anyway, um, hey, we're back. Welcome we're back. Rocket Rock Podcast. Podcast. Sorry, guys. We didn't do some shit last week. We were supposed week. to do it last week, but... What, oh, we were, yeah. Oh, well, well, you know what? Shit comes up. You know I what? We, I don't want to apologize, but we had to watch WrestleMania. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Sorry, man. Like, literally. Like, on. sorry, not sorry. WrestleMania takes bigger priority over pretty much everything, including my wife and children, who I absolutely adore. You know, the second night of WrestleMania was the shortest. Why did you? Why did you? Ever. Why did you leave me to watch that alone and by myself? Because I wanted some. I was by myself. I literally worked even Mocha. twelve hours. I don't want to hear bullshit excuses. I worked Do twelve cocaine. hours. Came over here. On night one, on Saturday. It was a blast. Yeah. We had so much fun. When I woke up, I was like, oh my God, I can't believe I have to get up for a meeting. Like, I did not want to get out of bed, dude. I was like, fucking. Such a slut. Shit. Biggest slut ever. It's it's pronounced salute. You're a fucking slut. I mean that in a good way. I know. But like, fuck you. (laughs) I, you know. I thought you, I thought Lonnie. Well, we're Lon- all going to just hang out and be like, oh, yeah, we're all in the fucking wrestling. Let's watch this shit. No. Mocha didn't even hang out with me, and she farts really? a lot. She farts <laughs> more than you. Really? Yeah. But at least mine smell worse. God. I don't know, man. It's a, t- a toss-up with that one. I don't know. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, I was just I was beat up, dude. I literally, like, and I had fucking, I went home, did laundry, and I had my little wireless headphones on and shit. I like people don't look at you when I'm doing this. I know that's why you have to turn. It just helps me have a commu- have a communicate a communication. Turn, turn, turn. But um, yeah, it was it was a, it was the shortest boner I had in my entire life. Huh? Why you didn't like it? I was very angry on night two. Why? Because fucking Drew fucking McIntyre oh. got his shit stolen. After all the shit, yeah. that dumb fucking Damien Priest yeah. piece of crap. I actually like Damien Priest. I do like Damien Priest, too. But He's like I the only one I like in that whole did, Judgment Day. I don't know. Rhea Ripley is pretty fucking undeniable, man. I just want to fuck her. She, she's beautiful. She is beautiful. And her fiance, Buddy Murphy, man, I hope he comes back to WWE. That dude is so fucking is talented. It? Buddy, Mur- well, in WWE, he was Buddy Murphy. I don't know who he is on AEW. He's part of the Black House with uh, Alistair Black. Oh, okay. Who should definitely also come, yeah, come back. back for sure, in fact, yeah. that whole House of Black should come over to WWE. Yeah. Come on, Triple H. Because, fuck, man, they are very fucking oh. talented and just not being utilized at all by fucking what's his name Tony Khan whatever the fuck yeah but that's the thing is like they bring somebody that's doing great over to fucking WWE and then they just don't do anything with them yeah yeah and what's his name um god damn it well that's why that's why WWE had to go Monday and SmackDown and Raw yeah cuz they have so much talent yeah they got to divide that shit up because y- you want to have talent on both nights, so people have to watch. Yeah. Recently, it's been you got to watch fucking SmackDown. Raw's great, whatever, but you got to watch fucking SmackDown because that's where the bloodline is. That's where Roman Reigns is. That's where all the shits going Who's that down. New motherfucker, at. we should like I should do the podcast instead of fucking blabbing about wrestling. We'll be right back on the wrestling. Uh, thank you guys all for tuning in to Rock Up Podcast. <laughs> <laughs> hey, how you doing? Ah, jeez. Fucking wrestling. You guys know we're into. We like the wrestling. We like the booze. We like tits. 
We like vaginas. We like uh, fishing. You know, even when we don't have licenses. Uh, (laughs) (laughs) Thank you guys all. And we got to thank our sponsor, Blackbird Tattoo and Piercing 300 South State, Clearfield, Utah. Yeah. I am working on my fucking leg sleeve. Get the Mothman. I I do. I got the Mothman started. I think me and the owner of Blackbird Tattoo, Cameron are going on a mandate, which sounds gay, but it's not because we don't blow each other. Um, I mean, unless it's Valentine's Day, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're going to go watch Sasquatch Sunset next Sunday. Do you want to come? <laughs> Do you want to come? Uh, maybe. When, when is it? It's it's next Sunday. Right. It's going to be at 7 p.m. We're going to smoke. The marriage wannas. Yeah. And we're going to watch the fucking Sasquatches. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I have anything going on next weekend, so I, yeah. I should be down You should yeah. come, yeah, dude, because it's going to be it. A- I love the Sasquatches. It's the- Jesse Eisenberg made this movie called Sasquatch Sunset, and you actually feel for the Sasquatches, but there was one trailer that just fucking killed me. Yeah. Because it's like, it is like, kind of there is some kind of sad shit in it, like some ecology, ver- environmental shit in it, mm-hmm. which I I agree with. But also, um, <laughs> there's definitely like some like funny fucking shit in it. Like yeah. um, the one trailer I saw, right? It's like the Sasquatch. So mysterious. So graceful so so proud so brave so proud so brave and <laughs> so you know misunderstood and then it cuts down to the two sasquatches mm-hmm. and one of them is fucking the other one in the ass <laughs> and they're like i <laughs> think <laughs> <laughs> it, it pans it pans over to two other sasquatches who are just kind of off in the field and just watching these two fuck and they're just like <laughs> he's just watching they're just like off no they're just watching they're like fuck what the fuck are they even doing uh, those sasquatches <laughs> are gay so it's supposed to be kind of a comedy drama okay i'm down where uh is it in the movie theater yeah it's gonna be it's gonna be uh starting like uh um april 18th something mm-hmm. like that thursday right. april 18th and jordan landing just up oh, here okay. by me so okay. yeah i'm down dude we're gonna go watch it and just get all fucked up and we're just gonna get stoned as fuck because it's like by 420 yeah and sneak just in a flask <laughs> watch it <Yeah. laughs> why not Man, fuck well how are you guys talking up for Calum- columbine that's cool i'm, <laughs> I'm getting high for hitler <laughs> <laughs> it's triumph of the will guy will day <laughs> that's uh, awesome anyway um so we yeah. gotta have a toast to the fucking lost. Do you? Besides OJ, this is not for you. No, he's th- excluded in this. No, toast. OJ, we are toasting to your death, and we hope <laughs> it was painful and awful and horrible. But who do you have to toast to? Hmm, I don't know anyone. Uh, you can't think of anybody that's recently passed. Okay, that's all right. Um, but I will fucking. Uh, I will give this toast mm-hmm. to everyone in my family line that has passed. Beautiful. A tribute to all Love my it. family. To the and to the lost always. To the lost. Slunchy. So we got a new setup. Um Mike went and spent some money. I, I, I spent some money. Not really. Um but uh if anyone wants to donate to the podcast JoeCX1980 at gmail.com. Do it. We can use your money because we want to make t-shirts and we want to go to El Paso for fucking Some merch. Forged in Defiance yep. fucking festival. I'm going to be uh, hitting up the, the bands in there that are playing, even the secret bands that you don't know about, and I do because I'm playing. They're not just bullshit secret it's bands. Fucking they're fucking like huge. Like, they're I, like... What the fuck, secret bands? Like, holy shit, really? I literally have still half a chub after a month of knowing who's going to be playing. Yeah, I'm pretty excited um, about that, too. <laughs> I know, right? And I'm like, and it's still kind of like that, you know, like acid fucking dick where, like, your dick shrinks, but it's still hard. Acid dick? Yeah, when you take a lot of acid and you got to pee, but you got to stretch it out because it, like, shrinks and hardens. You know what? I, uh, I've done lots of acid, mm-hmm. and I always have to poop. Really? Right after I take it, I have to poop. I poop on mushrooms, but I don't. I don't peek on it. I don't peek. I, I poop before I peek. I poop, then I peek, 
And then I'm like, oh, mm. things are weird now. That would be kind of weird, like, because if you, anybody's an acid, you know, you're like tripping. If you had to take a dump, I've never taken a dump while I was on acid. That would be like a, a, I don't know if that would be a scary experience or an amazing, like you're thinking, I'm giving birth. I do so have, our baby. I do have some fucking IBS. Like, not gonna yeah. lie, like legit. I have, I, I have like irritable bowel yeah, and man. ulcers and all kinds of, uh, I, I'm all fucked up. He has inferior genes. I have, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if it's my genes. Cause no one else in my family has this. Oh, really? But yeah, I, I think I just, honestly. Wow. Did you see the ghost move that shit? That was fucked. That's crazy. all right. Hey, George, welcome back, buddy. I, I've been, I've been missing you, honestly, George. Uh, I've been, we haven't had, we have not had like any spooky the ghost. Fuck is to, George? The ghost in the house, dude. I've told you about George on many occasions. You know, I have ADHD and I don't remember shit. You but fucking retard. I don't remember you telling me you had a George, ghost. George, dude. We've had fucking George since the last house. George. Oh. George. Oh, I was gonna say, George is my daughter's cat. No, George is the fucking ghost that we caught at the old house. And when we moved, he came with us, and we we're like, "Oh fuck, George is still here. Fuck yeah, we're was, worried we're gonna lose our ghost." Yeah, that was like no, like j- right there. Um, Joe had put his <laughs> fucking beer down on, on a chair. So we have a, a, a chair, like a fold up chair here that we'll put stuff on, <laughs> and it just scooted across just the moved. chair. And I'm like, moved. "What the fuck, dude?" It just moved. Yeah, it's George. Welcome back, George. Dude, I have George Sukalos. I have fucking missed you, buddy. I we have not what had up, George. We have not had any spookiness mm-hmm. in the last I don't know three four months. And it's a trip, man. We need spookiness, man. I haven't seen something like that for a while. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> like literally, Dude. yeah. That's no, trippy. George. That's trippy. I mean, he'll turn the fucking TV on at four o'clock in the morning. Me and me and the wife here in bed. Oh, fucking TV's on. Why'd you turn the TV on? I didn't. I didn't turn it on. George. I didn't turn that fucking thing on. It's fucking George. The summer of George. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> last Halloween. Last October, actually. Mm-hmm. Way before Halloween. Um, But it was like the first, second week of Halloween. Um, What, what happened? It, two cats murdered each other in our backyard. What? Like brutal fucking like murder. Fight, and then they both died? I had to throw both bodies in the dumpster why don't you burn them what because i don't give a fuck dude i just want to get rid of the motherfuckers sowing man send them to fucking i want them gone i want them gone okay <laughs> yeah. i don't need to smell should have sold more fucking hair. chinese neighbors that's fuck. fucking fresh meat bro that is a good idea but China. i would have to, i would have to talk to them and i don't like that dude i gotta get a fucking sound bite of just fucking donald trump going China. China. <laughs> what was it? It was like... I got this one. Hold on. Don't trust China. China is asshole. Don't trust China. Beautiful. China's asshole. <laughs> um, I don't know what else happened. Two cats murder each other and then like... I think the TV turned on in the middle of the night or something like that. Yeah. Lights, Some lights turned on in the middle of the night. Fuck. That's crazy. I mean, I've had like... Either way, we loved... We loved... We actually love George. He's like almost like a pet... He's like a weird yeah. pet that we have. He's like your retarded fucking family member. That yeah, hangs dude. Out. Yeah. Like he does weird shit every once in a while. Just be like, hey guys, I'm still here. I'm like, fuck yeah, dude. Yeah, but he try to steal your beer. It's fine. George can have this beer. Yeah, man. We have more. Oh yeah, that's right. We but do have George more. is welcome to this beer. George, <laughs> go for it, buddy. I, uh, <coughs> I've. I've always been able to like see spirits. I don't like want to sound like one of those fucking queers. Yeah, you sound like queer. Right I now. know I do sound queery. Okay, but um, like even my mom would tell me stories. Like I would talk to her and say and say, well, "How come this and this?" And I, I was talking to this person. Like what person? Who was talking to you when I was like little? Uh, and he had a big old dick. I have these. Like <laughs> I could see like ghosts. I guess um, uh, at funerals. I was. Bullshit. I'm sorry. You're gay. I, I think I have allergies. This brain yeah, time. Yeah, man. You know? you, you've been sucking too much dick. You got. You think so? Yeah, man. And um, but um, so we actually had a ghost at my mom's house when I was growing up. 
uh, we moved to this new neighborhood, new build, everything. Like yeah. literally, like the curbs and the sidewalk were in, but there's no. It was a dirt road. They hadn't even put the asphalt in. But uh, o- over on um, right by the freeway mm-hmm. on Redwood Road, yeah, on two fifteen, that it used to be that big giant red house. You remember that? No, not really. And then it was Alien Encounters. I actually worked there. Oh fuck yeah, I remember Alien Encounters. Yeah, and, it was uh, a haunted house. Yeah, it was like one of those like haunted attractions. And I worked there um, when I was in high school. But when I was in junior high, we used to go there all the time and like. Um, I do like fucking we're dabbling in the occult. Yeah, why not, dude? But uh it was Why the fuck not? Uh my my well, my dead brother, his friends were talking to this ghost on a Ouija board and then it followed him home. Yeah. And I remember like he came home and I'm like, What the fuck did you do? Who's that? And he's like, What? I'm like, Who who is that? And he's like, Who's who? And I'm like the the person that came with you and he's like there's it's just me and I'm like bullshit dude who the fuck is that guy and so we found out his name is Ren Ren he was a uh, a French fucking queer hmm. well all Frenchies are no queers. not all of them so we're cool <laughs> <laughs> sucking on frog no but uh, that was uh, part of the suck trilogy you know uh, but uh, I remember like waking up in bed one day. And, uh, well, one night and he's floating over me and it was like this kind of black, uh, what do they call him? Shadow person. Yeah. And, but they had like purple light coming out of its eyes and its mouth, but it was like smoke really strange. And I'm like, get the fuck out of my room. And he go, he kind of looked at me and like, I ain't scared of you, dude. Fuck you. I've seen plenty of you guys. And then he got kind of this mad look and that's kind of dissipated mm-hmm. but it was really hard for me to talk because maybe sleep paralysis but i was like right F- fuck you man get the yeah. fuck out of my room you know because yeah. I, I was like i was young i was a uh, junior high but um so when i worked at that place i was talking to him what place Alien encounters. The, oh, right. So I, I worked there at the haunted house. I was actually like a person running around scaring people. Yeah. What were you dressed up as? Uh, so there was a few jobs I did. Um, I was like a behind the scenes one. Okay. So there was a one part where you walk up and there's this kind of big open area covered with a lot of like like uh, foliage. Right. And and then I would hit all these buttons, and there was this zip line thing with this big giant dragon head, oh, and it would cool. light up like. Rah! <laughs> and oh, then yeah. uh, I was in this tree, kind of like up in the. I was I had to climb a ladder up to this tree. It was like a little, like a tree house, but it was like a little platform, right? And I would like when people would walk by, I would drop this giant spider. Head. <laughs> Fuck it yeah! A, it had a brick in it, but when it dropped, there right. was a piece of metal, so we go. And like make a big noise, right? And make them jump. But my favorite thing that I did is they had this um, big giant T Rex, right? yeah. And so um, when you're walking around the the outside of the house, because there's a lot of outside and then inside the house, right? Yeah, um, that was the that was a cool thing about it. Yeah, it was this huge mansion. It's this big giant like house, and, yeah. And you walk around the outside, and I would like jump kind of jump out of the bushes behind a group of people and uh i'm like and i'd walk i'd walk past them like through their their group I'm like this is the stupidest shit it's so fake dude i'm fucking tired of this stuff and everybody's like what what, what? And, and then we had this giant like t-rex right yeah and it was on this kind of like uh lever system so the person working it would like let go of the rope and let it slide down, and it would just kind of come down. Right, and it had noise like, right. but then I'd be like, ah, and I it would like come down. I had a sp- a spot that I'd be in, right, and I'd be like, no, and it would like come down, and then I would go inside its mouth, and there oh, was these, cool, and there was these like this bar I would grab onto, right, and then the person would pull the rope, yeah. so it was like it ate me and then pulled oh off. cool like, that's fucking like great there was like a slide and i'd slide down it and and i'd do that all night but <laughs> <laughs> it was pretty cool that sounds like a blast but man. like uh it was funny because i remember in high school like the this ghost was at my fucking mom's house and we were uh we'd always talk to him on the ouija board and stuff yeah you know and uh 
he would tell us things. I mean, it was weird, but it, yeah, I mean, if you believe in all that stuff, because I mean, honestly, it's like the shit I've seen, I have to. But um, it was it was pretty cool, man. Like all that stuff's like insanity. But yeah, I remember one time. Um, my one buddy was like, fuck this, blah, blah, blah. This is yeah. so fake. And then it started spelling out, fuck you. And then, <laughs> and then it said his name, spelled his name out. And he's like, you guys are doing that. And his dude, like seriously, like rad. He's like, fuck you guys. You're doing that on purpose. Fuck you. I ain't believing that shit. And his hat fucking flipped off his fucking head. Oh shit. Like, and he was standing there watching it. Like we were sitting on the floor and he's standing there yeah. and his hat just flipped off his head. And and then and then it just said ha 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 fuck I, yeah <laughs> I was, oh, and yeah. he's and he was like I'm out of here fuck you <laughs> but it, yeah that's just was that me. after was that after your brother killed himself it was no this was when I was in high school oh okay so he didn't he didn't I was just wondering if that was your brother doing that no no he didn't count seems out kind of like uh, actually this is seems like October. something your brother would have done. October will be uh, the ten year anniversary. Oh shit! Of my brother fucking being terrible pissed. anniversary. Let's not celebrate it. No. <laughs> well, it sucks because it was two days before his son's birthday. God damn. Yeah. Let's not elaborate. Yeah. But anyway. Anyway. Anywho, let's get on a brighter note. Hey, hey how you guys doing? If anyone wants to contact us. You can reach us at rocketpodcast gmail dot com. Hit the Any, socials. Uh, anyone wants to fucking hit us up on the socials, you know, look us up on the socials. If anyone wants to fucking donate to this podcast, you know, we got bills, we got we got pay for our account on Spreaker, we gotta fucking go to this thing in El Paso. I just bought a bunch of new gear to make us sound like we're almost professional. Mike and Bob, a bunch of fucking gear. This is a labor of love. We do not make money off of this shit. No sponsor. Well, we Any, have one sponsor, but we have one sponsor, and it's a fucking labor of love. We are playing shit that no one else will play because they don't have the cojones. They don't got the balls. So, JoeCX1980 at gmail.com. Go ahead and send me your money. I will happily accept it and put it'll it go directly towards, towards the, podcast. the podcast. And we wanna we wanna fucking make t shirts and shit, you know. Yeah, we want we, merch. I got a lot of t shirt fucking ideas. ideas, you know. Yeah, and also if you've got a funny ass thing like, you know, like uh rock gut fucked your mom or something stupid. Yeah. Like, say you got some funny thing you're like, hey, maybe try this on it or Yeah, why and, not? Uh, you know, send it to us, you know, at the yeah. uh, Rock Gut podcast at gmail.com or hit us up on the socials or um if you're a band or a, a label or a promotion you want to fucking get your your fucking people's names out you got a fucking movie you're trying to put out or a movie you're trying to promote a book um let, yeah, us, let know. us know and let we'll, us know we can do we'll some review reviews it. on that shit i'm gonna review Unless fucking- it's a fucking gay love shit like i don't want to do gay love stuff why? Call me old fashioned. You just prefer women but I don't with like vaginas. Gay loves. Yeah, I like I like <laughs> traditional women. <laughs> the ones with vaginas. You know, and the ones with vaginas and boobies. <laughs> Call us crazy. We just like chicks the way they used to be. I just like chicks without dicks. <laughs> you know. But uh, sorry, Bruce Gender. Yeah. Nice balls, nigga. <laughs> you ever see that? Bruce Jenner's like, I just wish I could meet an old fashioned I'm an old fashioned girl just wishes she could meet an old fashioned man that would compliment me. Like, and some dude compl it was this was on Twitter and some, some yeah. dude commented, Nice balls, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I love that shit. I was oh like, man. Fuck yeah, That's dude. so good. <laughs> 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 All right, should we play a song or talk about what's up? What's uh, up? Look, what's up, Micah? Look, what are you doing? Do you want to do? Oh, we've had a pretty long intro. Fuck it, dude. You want to keep going, or These... do you want to fucking play some shit? Nah. What's what's up? Um, anything good? Yeah, I don't know. I've just been working. Having a birthday on Wednesday. Yeah. How old are you now? Forty motherfucking eight. Oh, I thought you were in your fifties. Not yet. You look like you're. I <laughs> wish I was because then at work. Like literally, there's a fucking clause at work that says when you turn fifty, they can't. I could be like, have like, 
three things to deliver. I'm like, yeah, it's going to take me until 8 o'clock at night. <laughs> and they can't say anything. <laughs> they literally can't say anything because I'm 50. <laughs> so I'm I got a couple 50, years yeah. before before I can fucking pull that shit on them. But, yeah. Um, yeah, and then uh, my my son-in-law's birthday was yesterday. Oh, so he's okay. Got, his is two days after mine. Very good. And it, 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 he, man, he's a good kid, man. Like, literally, yeah, like. That's good. We we're work so tomorrow we're gonna have a barbecue for me and his birthday with you know, wonderful. Fam. That sounds great. And he's like, he's like, what do you want for your birthday? And I'm, he's like, I'm terrible at buying gifts. I'm like, you know what, dude? Just send me like twenty bucks because I got you know my storage unit got broken into and my tent got stolen. <clears throat> so this new tent I'm looking at is a four season. It's literally like two tents hooked together with a big open middle area where I can have a um, yeah. You uh, describe uh, it to yeah, me like a. Um, wood burning stove in there yeah and he's like well, how much is your tent and i'm like eh, it's like 500 bucks dude but i mean just give me like 20 bucks i'm cool do you really need all that though yeah do you camp in the winter time dead of winter listen when the fuck have you told me hey i know it's january 4th but let's go camping, Joe. Not once. You know why? Not once. You in know the why? Of our friendship. You know why? Because I didn't have a winter tent. Oh now yeah. Now I'm gonna get one. I'm gonna okay. winter camping, bitch. Yeah. Well, it's, we'll we'll believe that when we see uh, it. Uh, you can have, dude. It's like two tents. I don't like your attitude. I, you better not. <laughs> <laughs> what? Because <laughs> it's good. I forgot but what we're like, talking about. But like, <laughs> dude, he, he sent me two hundred bucks. And wow. Venmo, I'm like, dude, no, that's too much. And he's like, and he said, uh, he's like, you know, because he was adopted. Yeah. And um, I, I'm not going to air dirty laundry or anything, but his his, yeah. his his adopted parents have like, you know, issues like we do with uh, the 12 ounce curls. Yeah, man. Um, But it's with the hard 12 ounce curls. Mm, okay. And they've, they've literally lived in their... They're renting this house in Provo, and they've been there for I think three years. And they, besides when they moved in, they've never been there. They're like, "You're the only one that comes and visits us." I'm like, "It's literally like 45 minutes." It's, yeah, it's like not a big deal. Like I know people in Harriman that's in the Salt Lake Valley. It takes 45 minutes to get there. We knew a motherfucker in Richfield. Right, yeah. That's two and a half hours. Yeah. It was like three hour drive. If, the, if something is serious, we're going down there. Like, it's, yeah. You know, I'm going to go, go, go see the babies and see the kids, you know, and fucking. Yeah. But like, um, he was just like, I'm really glad that you're in my life. And, and this, and I'm like, God damn it. Well, I got to tug on the heartstrings, bro. Stop it. <laughs> and, uh, but, you know, it's like, so we're going to have the barbecue tomorrow. And Hell yeah. I don't care who shows up. I'll be there. Dude, I'm going to fucking get me a big fatty mcsteak too, dude. Yeah. Boosh. Yeah. I'm like, get me something that there's more white than red on that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> big old fat. You fat fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. And, uh, but yeah, it's just fucking Hell yeah. planning out my trip for fucking Scotland. Cool. Yeah. And when are you going to Scotland? Uh, the end of next month, and I'm really fucking, end of ne- end of May. Yeah, I'm really angry because why? Because you, you're Scottish. You, you know that fucking because um, you're Scot. You're a Scot. Well, you know the crypt. That's keeper? why he's angry. Well, you know the crypt keeper. Uh, yeah, from tales from crypt. Yeah, no, no, true. the guy that's the president. <laughs> oh, Joe Biden. Yeah, yeah. Bidenomics. <laughs> America can be explained in one word. I remember literally like they used to touch my leg hair and be like, Wow, you have I like it. Leg hair. And then there's a guy named Popcorn Crunch who was a gang member (laughs) and he used to beat people. Bad dude. He was a bad dude, Popcorn Crunch. (laughs) And he he used to beat shit at people and he's like, Hey Joe, I don't like you. My name's Popcorn Crunch. Let's and meet in the parking lot at 3 o'clock and he the pulled his popcorn. straight razor and I'm like, I'll fuck you up. Okay, sorry. He's like, I ain't scared of you, Popcorn Crunch. And he's like, you know what? <laughs> You'd make a good president, Popcorn, or uh, Joe Biden. Joe Biden. Whatever it was. And my dad back there in the 1930s says, look, son, sometimes people just love each other. 
it ain't gay. It's just gay. It's just <laughs> called gay. My family is Irish Catholic. We came from Ireland. And you we know, grew up in a Puerto Rican neighborhood that had up, lots of blacks and you know lots what? of Mexicans and every other thing I need to pander to. You know what, stupid? <laughs> My family all also came from Ireland. Scots Irish. They're Protestants. And the other side were Catholics. You know what we didn't do? Pander to fucking Puerto Ricans, you fucking <laughs> retard. Did you We didn't <laughs> live in the same fucking neighborhoods. It's that was culture. And that was the thing, and yeah, it might be considered racist today, but back in the day, that shit was just like we stuck with our own stay kind. with our own kind. Did you know that Joe Biden did the eulogy for the Grand Wizard of the KKK? How'd it go? Pretty good. He's like, I hate niggers too. I wish he wasn't dead. <laughs> oh, look at that. It went again when they said I hate niggers. <laughs> I, think that, I think that one was just gravity. Yeah, but he was like, literally like, oh. I don't know. I don't know what you're talking about. That never happened. And it's like, yeah, you got four Pinocchios, bitch. And, um, but like, uh, so when I went back home in 2019, when home? the old DJT was in, yeah. Wait, wait a tick. Yeah. Where are you calling home? Scotland. Oh, okay. My you home land. Ela- elaborate. Das Vaterland. Oh, okay. So my round trip air, 750 bucks. I oh, went fuck. last year. Not bad. It was, uh, I got a really good deal for like just under $1,400. Gosh. And this year, it's going to be about like, Two thousand to twenty five hundred dollars. Yeah, for the same fucking flight. It's still not biodynamics. Still not bad, but that's a shit ton of money, lot. dude. That's that's a jump. That's like a- yeah, like literally, it's like almost two thousand dollar jump because fucking out of spite, that dumb fuck was like, I'll just put it in front of me and I'll sign it. And these fucking pieces of garbage, fucking liberal douchebags, just like, yeah, let's just everything Trump did. Let's just do the opposite. Oh, yeah. And now we're in fucking dire straits. Yeah, no, no. Oh wait, wait. fucking Trump had all those things, regulations about the border, mm-hmm. and Biden just just a spite the economics him. and everything. Yeah, just that's what it just was. It was all, only out of spite. It was bullshit. And now you're fucking like literally like the last two weeks. So I'm awful. not even fucking kidding. I go on my balcony and I can see the gas station sign. Two weeks ago, it was um, two dollars and like eighty nine cents. Yeah, and gas is like four bucks now. Yeah, it yeah. within like two fucking weeks. Yeah, no, I I know because he was like, oh, you know, when I fucking took all our fucking. Uh, our, our oil reserves to give you fucking better fucking gas prices. And I told you I'd we, we have no problem putting it back. And then fucking like literally two weeks ago, he's like, we can't put it back. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, oh, well, maybe you should start drilling again. Like fucking old Trump, he says. You know. Also, like, you know, we were on that way this morning, me and the wife, the kids. <clears throat> yeah. We're doing an early morning hike. Nice. You know. We're going to go on a hike. Well, the SUV, you need gas. Yep. Filled it up, 50 bucks, man. 50 fucking dollars. Yeah. This is affecting the regular working class the American people. The regular Joe. Yeah. The regu- <laughs> hey, how you doing? Regular Joe. Hey, right here. How you doing, you Joe? Know? Um, but, you it know, is. We're, we're doing a lot better than most American families now. Yeah. If you put us in a shittier situation where we're both working jobs and we're both busting our asses and we're still not making fucking ends meet, mm-hmm. like if my You're wife going to work, like I tell people, my wife went to college, she got a master's, I went to jail, okay, <laughs> and that's the truth of it. That's the I fucking just about spit on the mic. That's the fucking truth of it, dude. And that's yeah. really what happened, yeah. you know, to our. What happened in our lives? Yeah, right. Two different paths. That That's why my wife is so successful, makes so much money. That's why 
I do a whole lot of work and make very fucking little, but let's consider someone else that's working class Americans. No, for legit, both in that like, situation. Like what I was saying hell. earlier that I work six days a week and I work 10 to 12 hours a day. No, I know you do. It's because I have to. I know you do. I'm, I am I fucking got kicked out of high school because I was a horrible Same. person. Yeah. Uh, and I didn't care because I had a job. Yeah. And, you know, like, you know, what was it? 30 years later, <clears throat> all of a sudden it's like, yeah, my body isn't so good anymore. Yeah, it's 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 not doing yeah. like it did when I was a kid. Where I could just fucking work for fucking like three months in a row and not give a fuck. Yeah, and uh, but I mean, I make good money. You know, I work yeah. for the for Zog. Yeah, and it's well, we all work for yeah. Zog, really. Yeah, right. You know, but I mean, I, mean? I legit work for fucking <laughs> the federal Zog. government. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and it's like I lucked out in my job. Yeah, like I wasn't making dick right before i got my job yeah i mean i was i was doing okay but if i was still doing what i was doing before and the shit fucking is going on now i would probably be homeless i would literally like legit either be working three jobs just to afford a fucking one bedroom apartment for fucking two grand a month yeah or man it's like like if anybody's out there, throw a comment down. Because I had a house um, back when the old Obama was in charge. And the exact same thing fucking happened where everything took a dump. Oh, yeah. And now, and then fucking after him, yeah. oh, what happened? Everything was so prosperous and it was, everything was cheap and great. And then Obama, two, or Obama 2.0, oh, Biden. Yeah, fucking took over, and it went right back in the shitter. The house fucking thing, and every everything is garbage now again because of stupid idiots. They're like, "Well, I'm rich, so I don't care what I fucking do." Because you gotta share the wealth. Yeah, oh, fucking commie fuck fucks. You. But it's like it's literally like they don't have to worry about money. No, no, the so ultra rich these, don't care about it, and, th- and they're the ones running it. Yeah, of course. You know, of course. And that's yeah. why I tell people that they're these fucking liberals that are like, oh, capitalism, this and that. And I'm like, no, okay. Every time you complain about capitalism, replace capitalism with the government, and you'll see what's really going on. It's the government. Yeah. All right. I'm not going to, I'm going to get off the soapbox of fucking, uh, I hate you the guys, government. We should play a song. You guys know where we stand, man. We love yeah, America. I, I, we love working people. All working people, hey, fucking, we don't care what the fuck you look like or what you, who you are. We care about fucking working people. We are working people. Yep. Um, you know, it's just it, it's how it, it is right now. It's shitty, and we all feel for you. And fucking, you know, we're going through the same thing. So we're definitely going through the same thing. And sometimes the only thing that can get you through is a couple of beers and some good old fucking heavy metal. That's right, motherfucker. Like, literally, like, yeah, smoke some weed, drink some beer, and play some fucking goddamn tunes. How about this one? What is this one called? I believe. (laughs) I can't read that far away. (laughs) This is the one you chose, Brad? I believe this is a motherfucking song by one of my favorite bands, Arch Arch Fucking Goat. Fuck yeah. Here we go.
Oh my god, I love that fucking band so Goodness much. Goodness gracious. So good. If you ever have a chance so to see good. them live, do it. Oh my goodness. They are doing a short little tour of the west coast of America. Not coming through Salt Lake City, which is fine. It's fine. It's fine. They're not coming. They already here. came here. Whatever. It's fine. Whatever. Sorry. Whatever. It but, was kick ass. You know, whatever. I don't care. I want to talk about it. I'm done talking about it, man. I don't want to talk about it no more. I don't want to talk about it, man. What you doing? I need a pillow. Though. You need a pillow on your butt? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a pretty hard chair. It's a metal chair. It's hard. It's too metal for you, Joe. <laughs> Too metal for my old man. <coughs> oh man! Too metal for my old man. Ass. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm I not, have. I'm like Hank Hill. I have diminished glutes. I look like a goddamn frog put on a pair of jeans. <laughs> my, hey, I hey, how like, you doing? Huh? Like I have no butt. Like I literally like my legs end and my back begins. Yeah, pretty and much. You can just yeah. see my butthole. Sometimes you poop, but you don't know where it Sometimes comes from. Sometimes you don't. All right. Either way. Yeah. Let's hear it. All right. This is the... If you look up uh, on YouTube, you can actually see uh, the uh, Scottish First Minister, which is like the Prime Minister there. Right. Talking shit about like, there's too many white people here. (laughs) And he's a fucking goddamn Muslim. And he's the Prime Minister of Scotland? Yep. He has a huh. Scottish accent and everything. He's like, he's like, every fucking person in fucking uh, the uh, like the principals, all white. Everybody, all white, all white, 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 white. I'm like, yeah, Scotland. Bitch, Scotland's ninety six percent white. Yeah, and when, if you don't like it, fuck off. I'm like, get your fucking colonizing Muslim ass out of the fucking country if you don't like it. Because, oh, unlike America, where. Uh, you know, the the red man is the indigenous person. In fucking Europe, white people are the indigenous people. Get the fuck out if you don't like us or our culture. I'm going to say right. that right off the bat. So, there. this is a, actually a propaganda thing I'm going to tell you about from The Guardian. Oh, God. Police spammed with complaints by neo-Nazis under new Scottish hate crime law. So the new the, the new the new hate crime laws you could basically like anonymously call on people for saying things against your race, religion, gender, fucking whatever. You yeah, know? Ireland has the same thing, and that's when Colin McGregor was like "fuck you" and started a revolution. Yeah, it's basically you can't say whatever you want to say. It's not freedom of speech anymore. It's, it's anti freedom of speech. It's not democracy. If you are saying things that they view bad and hateful, you go to jail for seven years they for can saying something, calling someone arrested. a fucking slur or whatever. They can fucking arrest you and put you in prison for seven years. Seven years of your life. Because you're like, you're dumb, whatever. Oh, if you misgender somebody, seven years in jail. Fuck that shit. That's fucked off. Fuck that shit. I didn't misgender you because... Pull your pants down. See if I truly misgendered you. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I didn't think so. Go fuck yourself. So, the first minister calls for an end of the vexatious reports after far-right agitators attempt to overwhelm the official system. Yeah, no. There are people pissed off because... This whole thought crime thing, mm-hmm. which is exactly what it is, it is. Yeah. is fucking horrible. It's terrible. <laughs> After he went on it's a awful. rampage against white people being in charge of fucking uh, Scotland. And that's what what happened was... Because it's their f- country! Right? They fucking literally, like, uh, he had this, like, big hate speech against white things, white white people... In Scotland, and um, so when they enacted this, he arrested. Yeah, no. So that's what it was like eight (laughs) eight thousand calls against him. Good, and then the police are overwhelmed. So it says neo Nazi and far right agitators (gasps) are exploiting Scotland's new hate crime law to make vexatious complaints in mass 
in an attempt to overwhelm the police systems. Which is the fucking buzzwords for like, yeah, you know, any time you're standing up for your rights, any time you're saying, no, this is what, this is not what was set in stone when we became a democracy. Oh, you're a neo-Nazi. Joe, Joe I'm sick of your fucking goddamn Nazi talk, dude. God, I'm, I know. <laughs> it's terrible, right? I'm terrible. So, a prominent figure in England's white nationalist movement, and it's not even, they don't call themselves white nationalists, they just call them nationalists, but, oh, well, let me see, who was a people that uh, originally lived, the, the natives, native Scottish people are, oh, they're white, that's right, they're honkies. So, they're, they're white nationalists, so they're yeah. automatically Nazis. Because they're white and they love their country, therefore yes. you should be, they're nationalists. And I honestly, I've, I've said this before, and I'll say it again. I don't really understand anything wrong be, being a fucking nationalist when you are from a nation. Why why, why is it bad to be proud not, of your country? Not a, pro, not a problem here. Unless you're in the Middle East. Anyway, uh, <laughs> <laughs> a prominent figure in England's white nationalist movement is among the... Those urging followers to spam police Scotland with anonymous online reports. Because you could just like say, my neighbor's a Nazi. And they'll go fucking talk to that person and say, yeah. oh, did you say some shit? And they'll the take The police them, yeah. will go to your house and the be police. like, we need to ask you some fucking questions. Yeah, like literally. And you're like, dude, I was in the middle of watching Bluey with my kids. What's going on? Like, like literally, this is like the red flag laws are trying All to All I posted was, I love Scotland. Oh no. Oh, 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 no! 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 Sir, you know, in our under our new hate speech law, that translates to Zeke Heil. That's offensive. <laughs> that is offensive, sir. So, the leader of a far right group, one of several fringe organizations being assessed by the UK government under its new extremism definition, promoted a private channel in the encrypted messaging app Telegram that includes a call to action urging members to mass report. Posts on the channel instructed members to log cases of the supposed anti white hate, which, yeah, like, literally, if. <sighs> so. This is like when people get mad. Well, what's the big deal? So if a bunch of fucking Native Americans did this, it'd be like, oh, that's fine. Yeah. But no. And you know what? They're Native Europeans. Fuck off. And you know what? On the Native America thing, I'd probably agree with them. But I also, also on the side of the fucking Native Europeans, I also agree with them. I actually talked to my daughter about it when it was going down, yeah. uh, and she's all, well, who was there before the Scots? I'm like, what do you mean? Well, who was there first? I'm like, what do you think? The fucking Africans just fucking like yeah. started all culture across the entire world, and then said, eh, it's too cold up here in Europe. We're going back down to the oh, desert. Oh, my goodness. Oh, goodness up here. It's so cold. Can you feel the cold? I almost feel like I want to play hockey. And I told her, I'm like, <laughs> and I told her I'm like no, like white people are the indigenous people of Europe. Yeah. And she had this look like a brain fart. She's like, but I'm it's like, because, no. It's because it's, the out of Africa theory has been just like debunked. fucking. No, well, well, no, like for her generation, it's just like fact, yeah. right? But there, yeah. out of this, uh, this out of Africa theory Nonsense. has just been like fucking like, yeah, this is fact. We all came from Africa. But there's been so much archaeological research. No, I'm like sorry. literally like archaeological evidence that is just disproving this very much so. Yes. And it seems like it's not it's out not. of Africa whatsoever. And it's out of other places. If you want to get into a rabbit hole, look into into Africa theory. Yeah. And I almost look at like a virus, like the spread of the, and I very much believe, I very much agree with the whole evolution thing that mm -hmm. we evolved from apes. And I, I, you know, and because science is important, you should never throw science out the window. And I will say that until the day I die, never throw sounds science out the window. But I think there are other alternatives, other other explanations um, that 
don't support the out of Africa There's a lot theory. Evidence. And I think things might have sprouted up not only in Africa, but also in like say China, Australia, fucking uh, uh around the the sea between Alaska and Russia and Mongolia. So I literally mean, the world uh, the, the the whole thing thing of evolution is like it's not going to start in just one spot. So I watched it's, this thing actually what you're talking about. I watched this thing last night. Yeah. I was like uh long day, edible. Boom, watching some YouTube. How you doing there? And, edible. Uh, I watched this thing and they were just like citing like scientific research papers that yeah. have been peer reviewed. Yeah. The oldest hominin skeleton yeah. ever found? Ruskies. Is that right? Yeah. No shit. Yeah. They're like no longer out of Africa. It's out of Europe. It's like yeah. a new thing that's just barely starting. Yeah. And I and like the oldest like hominin um, bones, like fossils they found are were in the um uh the Slavic region. Well I I also don't think it's just one spot. And they went up all through. Well, that's the thing. What, what they're saying is like um, all these um, hominins that were around because there wasn't just like one no, person walking it was a around. Whole bush, a whole bunch of different people. But they're all fucking each other. Yeah, and that's how we evolved. Yeah, I, I, I've had thoughts about fucking you, and I wonder what evolved. We would have a terrible tar baby. We would have a big red-headed, weird accented. No, I'm, not, I'm just kidding. But no, like to a Vin Scott. To, to, to be serious, to be no, serious, like, I don't think it happened from one spot. Well, that's what it. I did. think it was like different little spots all over the world where a lot of things were all going on. All well, over that's the what world. they were saying, and maybe. I don't know. I don't. Well, want that's to, what they're saying. There's like to, pre, I don't want to pre sound, prominent people well, that. We're just fucking, and then like a mutation happened, and they kept. They're just all mutations, yeah, yeah. mutations, yeah. and they just kept and doing I it, and then it just evolved. That's how we were evolving yeah. as a species. Yeah. Is that we were just interbreeding with everybody, yeah. and then and I don't want to. I personally, I, I, I it's going to sound crazy, and I'm I I'm going to argue with myself when I hear this tomorrow, and when I'm sober, <laughs> but. I don't want to dismiss the whole fucking uh, alien theory. No, like, uh, like I I don't want to dismiss it because there's been so much crazy, weird technological shit that has happened back in the ancient world and, and ancient civiliz- civilizations that I don't want to write it off. But there's a, if you read a lot of the text, there. They talk about the people that coming from the sky to change, like like literally, like they call the star like, Sumeria. people. Sumeria, Sumeria is the cradle of civilization, right? Yeah. And Supposedly, what's, what's yeah. Their, what's their story? People came from fucking a different planet and fucking changed their DNA t- to make them into slaves. And the fucking gold. Native Americans had the exact yeah. same the ant fucking people story. And the star people, like and the fucking the ant people, saved them from the flood. And the star people made them evolve and gave them culture. And the fucking Aborigines in fucking Australia yep. have the same goddamn story. Yeah, and the, the ancient things are around the world like that. And so it's like, I love fucking. All mythology. It's vagina. It's, it's, it's good stuff. Well, yeah, duh. No, yeah. I don't love all vagina. Mm, I, I love most vagina. No, I can't. Go ahead. I, no, no, yeah, no. But go anyway, ahead with your um, I was going to say a racist funny joke, but anyway. Uh, <laughs> uh, oh, my goodness. I don't like the purple wings. Thank you. But um, I'm okay like, with them. But, like, <clears throat> so they all talk about things. That came this the star people, the sky people, and everything that came and helped them yeah. learn about things. And yeah. it's like, well, how can you just like discount that and say like, oh, well, they're just like this and this. And have you been down to fucking Nine Mile Canyon in Price? No, yeah, I haven't hiked it, but I want to. Well, you can drive it. Oh, you can drive it. So you go down to Price and you drive and you stop at these places. You go hike and you see these big giant I mean, panels we- of like these insane looking like. 
alien things from robots that these fucking yeah. native americans fucking like car like like scratch into the fucking side of the right. mountain and it's well nuts, i mean dude we, we've we've been to quite a few petroglyphs and hieroglyphics and stuff yeah man just here in utah because there's so yeah. many of them so we've been to quite a few of them i haven't been to that specific one yeah so it's but, a price i and, mean and look up the uh, nine will. mile canyon and the shaman's panel yeah and it's like they got like horns but and these people, I'm not, and they look like danger. Will Robs? It's crazy. I'm not robots. I'm not dismissing any of that. You know, I'm yeah. not. I'm not. Gonna, I'm not prepared or even interested in dismissing any of that. I'm just shit. tired of science saying, "Oh, they're just shitty artists." Fuck you. <laughs> and you know what? Even the the Hilder folk, the Hilder folk yeah. of uh, like Norway and Sweden. The hidden people. I'm not. I'm not going to dismiss that either, because yeah. what the fuck do I know? Well, did you hear about that I, story where I, they tried to put a fucking freeway through that? They were going to break that big giant rock up, and they're like, "You can't do that." That's where the the older folk live, and they're like, "Whatever." No, and, and they I, couldn't, and all their shit was breaking down. And they come the next day, and all their shit's broken. Yeah, and and like literally, they could not. Br- this is where they live. And they're like, okay, yeah, yeah, you simpletons. Yeah. And then they couldn't do it. Good. So they gave up on it, went around good. it. Good, good. And mm. even if it's just the people in the neighborhood around it that just love that story, good for them too. I believe it's more like when when, because, when you do hallucinogens and see the like the DMT elves and shit. Well, I'm just saying, like, good for whoever is fucking doing it because don't shit on a people's mythology folklore i mean look man because you're so much more I educated am, and smarter than them yeah you know dick and i am dedicating an entire leg gay? sleeve to folklore you know why you know why because folklore is important it is it is very much important it tells the story of a people it tells the story of a mythology that you are not familiar with i hate that word and that is what well mythology you know well it's religion it tells it tells a story okay? it was the religion of the people before it was the religion of the that people. was wrong but yeah you so know. i guess i guess that is a shitty word but i'm saying it's telling a story of the people that live there, and that's why I love folklore. Yeah. Folklore is important. It's, it's very much important. It's the history. It's, it's very much part of a history of a culture of mm-hmm. a people. Now, whether it's you know scientifically proven or not, it doesn't, doesn't matter. A, it doesn't really matter because that's the people of that region. It should be respected. Until it becomes ridiculous. Yeah. You remember that one where they said that guy had a nine inch dick? That's so fake. Yeah. So fake. That that never happened. No, I I'm right here. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> How you doing? That's nine millimeter. <laughs> I'm hey, not, you, I am doing? I am not good with a ruler. <laughs> nine inches, nine millimeter. What do you Same thing? You know, yeah, tomato whatever. Tomato, potato. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> cicada, cicada. Yeah. Oh God, damn it! So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'll get back to this, but really quick. What you know those about? fucking hippos on the View? That oh. that sh- TV show, The View. Oh my God, yeah. So Fuck that, that dumb fucking, fucking that Fuck dumb that fucking show. brown girl, she, Sunny Houston or Austin. No idea. She uh, said, "Yeah, so because they're in New York." And they had that. Um, yeah, they had an right. earthquake in New Jersey, and they felt it. And she's like, yeah. "My makeup part of this, and like she's literally being like straight up racist." It was a four point eight. She's like, "My makeup part is like, oh, oh, Miss Honey, oh, it's it's Jesus is coming home. I'm leaving and run." And I'm like, "Did you just do a fucking shitty Mexican accent or something?" And she's like, "So you know that the solar eclipse happened, and there was earthquakes and stuff." That's climate change. And I'm like, you're the dumbest fucking no. bitch in the world. No. This isn't. So, so our climate in this no. fucking planet no. is changing the universe? <laughs> you dumb fucking no. bitch. No. No. <laughs> no. That's not climate change. 
Uh, but I almost anyway. agree more with the hairdresser. I know. <laughs> oh, Jesus is coming. Like, okay, I can, I can, I can respect that. You're, you're worried. It's fine. <laughs> but rotation of the planets and stuff. Yeah. That's a it has much nothing to do with our climate. Scientifically proven. Have you, have you been to a fucking like Clark Planetarium? Have you been to any fucking science? Any class? kind of planetarium <laughs> thing. But she's oh literally saying that fucking the reason that we had an eclipse and there's an earthquake. No, we knew there was an eclipse coming. Yeah, like it was months we, in advance. We have it timed out because we know the fucking rotation of the planets and God damn it, I had a, and this is what people eat up. This is what these fucking idiots eat up. Like, oh yeah, maybe I should not drive a car anymore. I can get an electric car because oh, I don't want another eclipse. I had a coworker. <laughs> I had a coworker who reserved her days off two months in advance to go see the eclipse because she wanted to go down to Dallas and see the eclipse. Yeah, because we only got like fifty percent here. And time. she, yeah, yeah, it was just like, like yeah. even the boys were like, yeah, it was just like, meh, meh. yeah, and they're kind of bored with it. Yeah. Um. So the, a coworker it reserved it two months in advance because we knew it. Several months in advance, and she went down there. That's awesome. It was not like an anomaly, not something out of the blue. It's a natural fucking thing. It just kind of happens every couple of years. Nothing to fucking get crazy about. And it's what the fuck. It, like literally, like these change? are the people. Like people, these housewives the, watch the this and think it's like and, fucking. The sun and moon don't give a flying fuck what happens on this planet. It's just all based. That's all based off of fucking goddamn gravity. You want me to do things to you like the sun and the moon? Round. Shut up, Annie. Yeah. God damn. Gay. <laughs> <laughs> fucking hell. But um. Like, literally, like, when I saw that, I laughed. But, like, so get back to what it was. is like, when I'm talking about this fucking hate crime law, pretty much everybody uh, is saying, like, uh, so there's this Scottish uh, shit talker called Count Dankula. Mm-hmm. And he's, he, he just sits there and has a smirk, and he's talking about it. And he's like, yeah, you know what? When you sit there and talk shit about fucking scottish people there's a thing about us we like to talk shit and we like to fight so when you're going to take that away from us let's see you take the talking shit part away all we want to do is fucking fight fuck you and he's like when you're talking shit about us there's a problem with white people well maybe you can go back to your muslim home and you can talk shit about white people there but (laughs) scotland's 96 percent white yeah yeah. Of course everybody in charge is going to be white. Yeah. And he's like, but what they don't tell Stop you... Stop crying about is it. ...is the top tier of everybody. Like, so like a prime minister, and it's called the first minister. So all of them down, like the president, vice president, and all that shit, they're all fucking Muslim. What? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Why? I don't know, because fucking people love curry over there. <laughs> curry is delicious but you don't vote a person uh, well that's indian though but you don't vote well, that was for a thing, person like, based off of curry so I'm, I'm gonna i can make you some curry right now uh, guys I'll, I'll come talk, on over I'll, I'll talk some shit right now um, yeah do it because so, i'm confused i don't know if anybody's heard of a band called screwdriver <laughs> yeah. like literally they're like british nationalist band uh, White Pride, even though I have a song called White Power, but literally they're, if you listen to what they were saying in the late 70s and early 80s, when all the race riots were going on in there, in, yeah. in England, because it's yeah. an English band, but it's literally like what's happening now in America and all across Europe. Like what? Um... They're right on the British streets. They're burning down our land. And the filthy government puts money in their hand. Like, what the fuck is that? Yeah. These illegal people coming over, and the government pays for them to live. 
Why don't they pay for me to live? Oh, because they're taking my taxes. Yeah. You know, and they're talking about how they sing a lot of songs about like, like my dad, I asked him, why don't you have an Australian accent anymore? He's like, because I moved to America and I had to assimilate to American society and be an American. Right. And I get that. And my mom's like, well, I still have my accent because my dad said, never forget where you came from. And so I've got a blend of the both. And, um, but these people are coming into countries. These, man, it's hard to talk about it without being like racist. But it's not like I hate, I do hate them because of it. Not because of who they are, but because of what they're doing. Who's they? Uh, the darkies. But which darkies? All I of mean, them. let's, let's. Literally, it's the fucking Muslim fucking Arabs. There you go. Um, there was a big thing like, uh, when I was a kid, we called them Pakis, right? The, pa- the Pakistanis yeah, the would come Pakis, in. yeah. And it wasn't like racist or derogatory. It was like, oh, yeah, the cracker. The fucking, I guess, is cracker? Is that racist? Yeah. Is it? Yeah. Uh, I just thought it was something fun we call each other. But no. It was, it was uh, like, like me, if we were black, it, we'd be like, what up, nigga? Wait, what a cracker? No. You know? No. Because but, like, if a bunch of niggas called you a cracker saying... Shut the fuck up, cracker. I'm like, fuck you. I'm a hillbilly. Yeah, that's right. I'm a redneck, bitch. Make me get my whip out. But, but like, yeah, I get what you're saying. But, yeah, um, is, is the wrong but we would, but, but back then it was just like, oh, they're a packy, you know? Mm-hmm. And they were fine. Like, yeah, I'm, I'm a packy. I'm fucking straight up Pakistani motherfucker. You know, they're proud of it. Yeah. They owned it. Right. Like rednecks. Yeah. And so, if someone tells me I'm a fucking redneck, I'm like, I, God damn right, I'm a fucking yeah, if, redneck. If, if, if I go to Scotland now, I'm like, you fucking packy, what's up? Oh shit, better call that fucking goddamn Islam motherfucker in charge now and get you arrested. Go to jail for seven years. Go to jail. Jail. You'll fucking seven fucking years. Jail is the maximum on for just misgendering people. But like, it wasn't like. I don't know, man. This new generation is like retarded because when we were kids and like say like junior high era, ninety eight, yeah. late eighties, yeah, nineties, it was like <sighs> fucking Cosby shows on TV. Hip hop was fucking king. Like it was like celebrating black culture, and that's why all the white people turned into crackheads and meth heads and fucking. Yeah. I mean. I love it. Literally all, tells you to fucking hate shit. I loved all that. I loved the Cosby Show. It was fine. Still do. I love old school. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie, dude. I love old school hip hop. Still do to this yeah, day. Man. But Chris Cross will make it. I jump, also. Jump. I don't know so much about that song. Well, they had the backward pants because they could get it in the ass. It was weird. Cause they had the zippers in the butt. It was weird. No. Really was kind of not into it, um, but still, I still love fucking heavy metal and punk rock. Yeah, man, I love all that shit. And I don't think, as an American, I need to differentiate from all that shit because all of it is fucking American. And I think, well, that's the thing. The best thing about America, as being a fucking American, I can appreciate all of it. And not feel weird about it because I'm a fucking American. Hey, Joe. And we can fuck up any country that exists. Joe, you're yeah. culturally, culturally oh. appropriating shit now. Yeah. Well, fucking good. Let's see, look, hey, I, I can explain this really easy, actually. So when we were kids, when we had other cultures, we're like, yeah, man, I fucking like this food. I love Chinese food. Oh, man, fucking... I like hip hop. I like fucking this and this. And you're fine with it. And now it's like, oh, if you like hip hop and you're white, you're culture appropriating. Oh, you're racist. I oh, if you fucking like this. And it's like, no. The best part about America is that every culture is here. Yeah. Every fucking yeah. culture is here. And you get to experience it. Yeah. If you're sitting there in fucking some shithole fucking um, third world country, 
when Bill Gates comes in, it's like, let me give you a vaccine that's going to sterilize your ass. Yeah. I hope it picked that up. That was a mean ass. I fart. heard it. That I was a it. mean fart. But I'm like, not, I'm not stoked about it. At like all. they're literally like sterilizing these people in Africa, and then everybody's like, "Bill Gates is saving us with the coronavirus." Not, no, he was fucking been ten years. He's been sterilizing Africans. Hello. Yeah. No. Uh, you know, but it's like if you celebrate someone else's culture, you're a racist. No. If you're you celebrate c- your if own culture, if you're white and you celebrate your own culture, you're racist. Where the fuck do you win and where do you lose? It's I th- bullshit. I think if you're celebrating it, you're celebrating it. Like our fucking our our, if our generation. If you think it's cool? It's cool. Like our generation okay. is more open. Like I'm going to say this right now. I was more open to other fucking cultures, and I was a fucking neo-Nazi skinhead when I was a kid. I was more open to other cultures and their fucking things than than the kids are now, like the the Antifas and the and the fucking Wokies. You're not allowed to fucking like even look at rice. Why? Because uh, that's Asian, and if you fucking eat rice, you're a fucking racist. It's like that's how stupid they are. Yeah, they're just dumb. Well, we can't base we can't base society off of extremely stupid people. Okay, but we're doing. It. We can't just like base everything off of that's the stinky. most extreme psychos. Well, that's the thing okay. that that's what gets because on the, the news. No, well, no, no, the extremists. The most extreme psychos do not get on the news. They're they're not. I mean, I watch Fox News, the fucking the local news every night and none of that shit's on there it is 100 percent. it's not dude it's they really not words. i watch it every night it's like here's what's going on down in south jordan oh these girls are baking cookies for the fucking local fucking retards listen it, to it's the, not listen no, to the language no, that they no, say dude no they're not they're not it's hey joe if you're, I'm an extremist. Yeah, you are. I am. But look, man, free like, Scotland, local, local, great. Yeah, I'm <laughs> right on board. That's but, racist. But look, local news. It's not. It's not doing that shit. They're just reporting local news. They don't have an agenda. They don't they do. fucking no, dude. They don't give a fuck. They want to report local news and report the fucking weather and traffic. And that is well, pretty, that stuff, yes. That is pretty much... I agree with you on that. That is pretty much it. The news, like, uh, the traffic, the weather, no, and the local you. stuff. But when they talk about, like, the world news, if you listen to the wording... World news... Is bullshit. Is a different, whole different thing. And that is why they bring in a different person to report world news. And if you really want to hear world news... Do you watch it in the morning or at night? Both. Do I you? watch it in the morning so both, I can see the weather? But I, I, I catch buzzwords that they say. I'm both. like, fuck you. No. I don't think there's a lot I of I saw the fucking, uh, you know the guy in the morning? I can't remember his name. Dan, not, no, Dan. Jesus the guy, Christ. The guy at the night. Jesus and Nazareth. The guy in the morning, um, I seen him. Uh, I was out with Kat, and we went out to, before she left, uh, I was at Cascade Springs. And we were walking that little fucking trail, you know, a big, huge fuck. Have you been out there? Cascade Springs? I don't think America so. America Fort Canyon? You get to the end of the road. And I don't go down that way. fucking huge fucking thing. It's amazing. You just take the kids there. It's great. And uh, we walk up, or we're going back to the parking lot, because it's got a little paved trail. And there's all these people. And this dude's like, fuck, like 6'5". Yeah. And I'm like... Dang man, I'm I'm six three. I'm like when Big I have to, old when, I have to, when I have to no, he had a tiny dick. He was the reverse. How does he know? But um, because he pulled it out for everybody, huh? But like, there's all these people talking to him, and 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 I'm like, that guy looks so familiar. Do I know this guy? And I'm like, look at him, like, I'm like, do you know that guy? She's like, he looks really familiar. And I'm like, yeah, I don't know where I know him from. And then I got really close, and I'm like. Oh, that's the fucking Fox News guy. And it was the morning news guy. I can't remember his name. A 6'5 black guy for no, morning white. news? No, he's white. 
No the guy in the morning, no the, the blonde haired lady that had the stroke of the big tits, and then the fucking, the fucking like clean cut looking happy guy. Hey, how's it going? Yeah, I'm the news guy. But um, he's sitting there, and I'm like, I know how he, many years ago was this? Uh, like three, four years ago. Yeah, and I was. Well, he's still on there, but um, no, yeah, it's the same guy that's in no, the morning news no. on Fox 13. Not at all. Yeah, you're gay. And uh, I walked no, up, and I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, and everybody's like talking. I'm like, they're all looking. I'm like, oh jeez, because he's a celebrity. And I'm like, how do I know you? And he's like, oh, you might see me on TV. Like, oh, you're that fucking douchebag that just reads fucking shit for a living. Yeah. And he looks at me, and he's like, well, I mean, yeah, I, I, I read. So I'm like, you don't write any of it. You just sit there and look pretty no, for all the girls. They read for teleprompters. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, you, you sit there and look pretty for all the girls. And Micah, he, and he's like, find yeah. your point. I am telling the point. Okay, get to it. It's all fucking propaganda. Oh, my God. The weather today is cloudy. Oh, my God. The fucking commies are coming. It's when cloudy. was the last time the weatherman was right? Calm down, dude. I can't calm down. Don't be a fucking tard. I'm like fucking like. Don't be a fucking John Connor. Tar- yeah, <laughs> but you were kind of being a retard about it. Hey, Joe, what's on my fucking hoodie? Yeah, I know what's on your hoodie, <laughs> but I know what's coming out of your mouth, and you're sounding kind of like a fucking retard. I, I'm just, I, I know, I'm enlightened. You're not enlightened. You're a fucking tard. Nope. Okay. How about we listen to some Graveland? Oh, my goodness you gracious. listen to Graveland? How do you? Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, in fucking Scotland, fuck those goddamn fucking... Yeah, fuck the commies, but... They're not commies, dude. They're Islam, man. There's these fucking goddamn fucking... I don't, I don't like that either. They're gay. Yeah. The only thing I like about Islam Great is they throw good. fucking queers off the fucking buildings. I don't like that either. I know? think it's funny. I watch videos on it and I jerk off. I think it's <laughs> weird that... Here's the thing. I don't like that they do that. I think it's weird when gays are supporting that. that. queers for Palestine and shit. Like, yeah. that's fucking weird to me. I don't like that they do that just it's because like, you know, someone just because someone is gay. Like, fuck off, dude. That's horrible. But because but the fact that there are gays that support that, it's like that's self-deprecating. horrible. It's like it's like um, anti-gay gays. Like anti-gay gay, gays, gay, gays for anti gays for anti-gay. Yeah. yeah, it's like weird. Well, yeah, that doesn't happen. I'm like YouTube it, bitch. Fuck, that's that's fucking insanity to me. Yeah, that's the circle that just that's in a rubber us right there. That <laughs> just doesn't. I don't happen. like that at all. <laughs> so dumb. You know? All right, uh, all right. You know Rock what? Roll. How about some blood and ash from uh, Raveland? I love this band. So great. So great. Love it.
Because he's a super Jew. Not Graveland, but... Graveland. Good Man, shits. that was a good song. That was a good, good song. It did. It definitely, like... That era of Graveland is just like watching Conan the Barbarian with Arnold and shit Dude. like that. Oh! <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And they're all stirring the soup with all the body yeah. parts and shit. Yeah. And that big orgy and shit. So cool. I I do enjoy some Graveland. I'm not going to lie. Graveland's great, man. I think they're great. I like absurd, too. Where are we at? My days are gray like dirty snow. We're off the rails, bitch. Let's talk some shit. We're off the fucking rails, you fucking fuckers. Fuck you. Fuck you, like you and s- fuck your mom. Sound effect of like some train Sorry. falling off. I didn't mean that at all. He did mean it. I'm so tired. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so tired. I gotta be up in a couple hours. I, I do. Know, yeah. I gotta get up early. I got a lot of work. I'm pretty, I'm, I'm pretty stoked about tomorrow, man. Built my first raised bed today. It's a three by eight raised bed for our garden Crops. outside, out out in the yard. And then once that's done, I still got to build two more raised beds and also a chicken coop. Wait. Because we want chickens. I'll and bring that tomorrow. Next spring, we're going to build some chickens. Yeah. What? I'm an evil motherfucker, Joe. I'll bring you a chicken coop tomorrow. Because I'm going to see my boys. You going to Provo tomorrow? Yeah. Oh, shit. So I'm going to their house tomorrow. I'll grab that. I'll make... Because everybody's... So this is the good part. You it's let ha- me it's, know. It's heavy. And everybody's showing up because it's... My, my son-in-law's birthday is two days after mine. I will take it. And uh, he's like, yeah, I need to get rid of it. And so, yeah, I'll, I'll just throw it in the back of my truck. I'll take no my... Oh, shit. Yeah, I'll just throw it in there and tie it down, and then I'll stop on the way home afterwards. Yeah. And I'm like, hey, bro, I'm on my way. It's a 45-minute drive, but I'll let you know. I don't care what time you come here with the chicken coop. You fucking let me know. I'll right. fucking help you unload it. Yeah, man, because it would fit actually like... So, you know you have the, the, the back corner of your backyard with the little garden? Where we pee, yeah. It's... It would fit right perfectly right there. Where everyone that is drunk as fuck pees. <sighs> and the dog shits. That's adorable. No, actually, the dog shits by your uh, your your mother-in-law's fucking uh, back door. Yeah. Well, <laughs> they kind of shit all over the place. I actually have to dog. watch myself. I got to go to the good spot to pee well, because I got to watch out for mocha's poop bombs. Well, if you're serious, let me know. But we oh, yeah, I'll grab it. it. They already said I could have it. We 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 don't need to discuss on the podcast. But, Chickens. Yeah. You know what? Uh, they're actually um, there's certain states now that are uh, trying to tax you for having livestock. Those states can fuck themselves. Yeah, because they're commies and they don't want you to have your own fucking food. And they, and they actually are taxing you for fucking having your own gardens in your backyard. They're trying to make it illegal to. Oh, grow, don't grow, grow gardens, food. guys. Yeah. Don't, don't grow lettuce is a threat to the nation. It is because we don't. You don't have all the fucking goddamn fucking uh, uh, fucking COVID shit that we put into your food. Is that son of a? Is that goddamn old lady growing radishes? Oh, that bitch. That goddamn I, bitch is growing and shit. I know she's a fucking veteran's widow, but fuck but, her. Don't you dare grow snap peas in this country. You're not allowed to grow your own what food, the bitch. Fuck is happening. Like literally, like they, like literally, if you think about what's going on like, with that what shit, what the fuck has happened to America? Total government control, which is a uh, government, AKA communism, socialism, vote. Republican guys, seriously, like, but not rhinos. I, I, I don't even know how to like express it to you. Vote for freedom. Vote. The for Democrats fucking want to freedom. be complete control. Vote Republican, and it's look. If the Republicans were the same thing, I would say vote Democrat. Just but watch what they I'm say. I'm just saying, dude, man. Fuck. What the fuck is happening? The government is going after the fucking Constitution. Why are they fucking fucking with 
several liberties, just fucking regular people trying to go ve- grow some veggies in their backyard. Did you see how people are losing their shit when Donald Trump's all, he's like, yeah, we just need to let the states make their own laws. Let the fucking state, United States. And, oh, wait, You guys wait. need to re, like, r- really fucking, like, re- Read analyze the that the constitution we says we are united states each state has its own sovereignty which they can decide what is legal and what is illegal yes. this is the whole that principle is why we are states it's this whole principle of america is that Fuck. the states make their shit and the government all the government was supposed to do is keep an army to defend america not defend ukraine not to defend no fucking kuwait not to go fuck everybody else up and do no we're supposed to fucking keep ourselves sovereign that's and, it and you know what? And now we're fucking getting our fingers and everything and starting wars so, like, we got all this great shit. It's just sitting there. Now we need to go fuck people up and make fucking shit up about this. This is the fucking uh, the ultra tier of the government fucking talking crap. And, like, and then fucking Donald Trump came around and was like, this is what's going on. They're like, oh, he's a liar. He's racist. Oh, oh he's racist. God, he yeah. heard what he said. And he said, I like black people. What a racist. Here's the thing. Um, and just personally, if we are going to war invading nations over their supplies, what they have, their energy uh, supplies, whatever, yeah, you could actually sell me on that because well yeah for we're, like we're a we're a conqueror nation if you talk truth let's just be it's real a whole about it whole different story let's just be real about it you can actually probably sell me on that but they if, have aluminum tubes you know what the fuck you can do with aluminum tubes you can stick dribbles on them hamsters fucking rich we went to war ass. over aluminum tubes I'm I'm more excited about petroleum and oil and gas and all that. You can sell me on that shit. I'm just saying, like, if you're fucking, like, going after Americans for some bullshit, fuck off. Yeah. Leave us alone. We're a fucking... We're supposed to be a fucking conqueror nation. We shouldn't... Up- a lot of we're a look, babysitter look, now. Here's the thing. A world babysitter. Here's the thing. I think all men, all men need to read The Spoke Zarathustra by Nietzsche. Okay? I know it sounds silly. I know it sounds cliche. You guys need to read that shit and understand it. I have it on audiobook. Excellent. I mean, do that. Do the fucking audiobook. It's not a long book. And also, Will to Power by Nietzsche. Okay? And I know I'm fucking, like, being weird about Nietzsche right now. I'm just saying, stop apologizing for being a conqueror nation. Yeah, 100%. It's a good thing. It helps the entire world. That's how every when you nation is do made. that. Conquering. When you do that, it helps all the people of the world who are not fucking dirty commies. Commies <laughs> want Suck. a government small portion to control fucking everything. Um. Have you ever seen that? No matter Joe, what. Joe, have you ever seen the movie Snowpiercer? No. But Where it's like an I apocalyptic have... thing and they're on the train no. that goes in a circle. And no. like, it literally explains communism like they have the elites living it up rich and fucking eating caviar. But there's like the world's ended. And this train is going around. Is this snow? Is this, is this, is this interest? Oh, but. Huh? 
Is Idris Elba the main character in it? Mm, I don't remember who was in it. Big black guy. Good no, actor. It's a white dude that's in Great it. Great actor. But um, so basically, the people at the end of the train eat bugs like they want us to eat. They're these like gelatinous protein bars that you eat. And everybody, they're the low end. They're the fucking us, the working class. They make everything up for the people at the front of the train that are living in luxury. Yeah. This is what communism is. This is what socialism is. Yeah. It doesn't fucking matter. The people work to make things for the elite, and the elite live yeah. elite. Yeah. And it's just like, oh, but everything's equal. Bull fucking shit. Yeah. Oh, it's just never been done right. It's no, it's been never. Done, it, it's been equal. done right. It's been done right every fucking time. None That's of why it, it doesn't is work. equal. Equality does not exist, guys. It doesn't. Capitalism, communism, fucking consumerism. If free fuck, market capitalism it does not exist, is good because. If you fucking are willing to get up off your fucking ass and do something, you can make something yourself. Communism and socialism is like you get everything for free. No, it's not free. No, nothing you is free. Nothing are told. Is free. You're told what your job's going to be. Oh, you're going to be working in a coal mine for your whole life. You can't change it. You can't get another job. You're just going to do this. And then everything you make, you don't make money. You don't make money. You make food. You yeah. work to get food. Yeah. And the sad thing is, is like, oh, yeah, everybody gets free health care and free food and free everything. So you bust your ass fucking like 16 hours a day in a coal mine. And then you get like half a loaf of bread a week. And you get nothing. And all the people that are in charge are living in gilded fucking goddamn fucking mansions and fucking licking fucking cocaine off their fucking maid's pussy. That sounds awesome. I know, right? I want to be a <laughs> communist, but I want to be in charge. No, just kidding. <laughs> yeah, but like, it, that's it, the, that's it, the it, problem. It, no one's in charge. But it, they. It, yeah, but it's the difference is, <laughs> do you want to work hard to make something yourself? Like we were talking earlier. We're both fucking degenerate losers that have made something of ourselves. But the generation now just like, oh, well, why don't I move down to my mommy and daddy's house? I have, I have to, to do shit I don't like doing, and then I have to pay bills, and I have to do... And like, yeah, it's called fucking living, you fucking idiot. I have to, a really good point you just made, Micah. Hmm. Uh, you know, look... Licking, I gotta, licking coke off a horse pussy? No. Okay. Uh, but yes, <laughs> yes, very much. But no. Look, <laughs> oh, man. I didn't make anything of myself. I got kicked out of high school. Yep, me too. My wife went and got a master's degree at the University of Utah. I went to jail. Micah, I don't know what the fuck he did. I got kicked out of fucking school because I was more interested in hiking and smoking pot. And... Um, I came from a, a a poor immigrant family. Yeah. And guess what? I make fucking six figures. Micah. Because I go to work every day and I bust my fucking ass. Fuck off. Micah, Micah, Micah does work six days a week. And he definitely works way over eight hours every single day. Twelve. So... I bust okay. my ass. Okay, so that's a that's that's, that's capitalism. Pretty, that's pretty good point. That's capitalism. Now, but if we were in communism, up, yeah. I would make fucking. That's what I'm saying. Like, put us in a socialist slash or even communist same thing. situation. If we're in a communist situation, both of us I'm are working shack. our asses off, eating nothing. Starving to death, yeah. Serv yeah, serving to death and fucking dying. Here in America, you know, we're doing all right, you know? We're doing okay. Hail, hail, hail colonizers. You know, um, <laughs> you know look. No, my, that, that's my, a difference. My wife is not a colonizer. She is from a 
Nicaragua. She came up here Nicaragua. because Reagan Nicaragua. Reagan granted amnesty to Nicaraguans because Their there was a whole dicks. shit thing. The governor that. is dicks. <laughs> um, you know, her mom, dad, sister, they're up here. My wife does very well for herself. Amazingly you know? well. Yeah. I... Because oh, guess what? what? My wife got America. a master's degree at the University of Utah because she's smart as shit. I was a scumbag that went to Kearns High School. I sold a lot of illegal things, and I got kicked out, <coughs> and I went to jail. But this is the thing, though. Where would your wife be right now? Well, she wouldn't be your wife if they stayed there. Oh, she'd be fucked. Yeah, she'd be living probably, in a shack somewhere. Prob- I she'd probably be dead. Yeah, or she'd yeah. probably be dead. Like literally, like where she came from, her family came from. Yeah, and it was like I hate America. Boo-hoo. No, it's like no, you're a lazy bitch. No, the best thing about America is if you have the drive. Yeah, like I literally know people that are millionaires. They can barely speak English because they have the fucking drive to work and make shit happen. They, they make businesses work. and they do it because yeah. they work as hard as they did in a fucking communist or socialist economy, like even half as hard, and they're just thriving here. Yeah. Thriving. Yeah. Anyone just throwing money like a fucking rap video, you know? That's kind of the thing about America is like if you work your ass off, you can be all right. You can. It, well, look, no matter can where it, you come from, that's you the thing. can. People cry about a do- shit. A dollar and a dream. Yeah, and that is very much America. People and cry it still about shit. Is and they're the lazy ones. Well, yeah. I mean, that's the problem. If you're lazy in America and you're just barely getting by, you're still doing better than eighty percent of the world. The funny thing, <laughs> the, the the funny and also ironic thing is that a lot of the people that are complaining about America are the people who have been here for generations. Yeah, you know, uh, my wife. Said, my, you know, I just explained to you my wife's family. My wife is first generation American. Me too. My 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 my. my uh, in-laws, my mother and father-in-law. They're immigrants. They had to get the fuck out of Nicaragua. And thankfully... She was going down south. Thankfully, you know. because of Ronald Reagan, President Ronald Reagan, probably the best fucking president we've ever fucking had. Agreed. Anyone who disagrees can suck my balls. Granted amnesty, because he was like, oh... The commies, they took Cuba, they took El Salvador, now they're going for fucking Nicaragua, this fucking cocksucker Sandino. Okay, I'm going to try to put a big fucking stop to this, and any Nicaraguans who's going to get caught in the crossfire, any good old fashioned fucking families who want to get the fuck away from this, you guys are granted amnesty, and that is how my fucking wife's Family. mom and dad were able to get their fucking asses up here and become American citizens because of fucking Reagan. But you Reagan know what, did that shit. But they didn't come up here like, where's my cell phone? Where's my government check? And no. They came up That's here. That's what they, they're doing now. No. Because they they're up here. money. No. They came up here. They got the work. Okay. Yeah. They got the fucking And now work. there's like the the fucking goddamn fucking Biden administration is like giving them money, cell phones, fucking jobs. And like they you are working right now if you have a job. If you have a job, your taxes are going to pay for people to sit on their fucking asses at home and get free shit. Look, I I'm cool with all those fuck it. No, that's socialism. He's I'm cool with, if you're a family coming from Guatemala or Nicaragua or 
Honduras, I don't care wherever where the you fuck. Come from. No, I'm saying if you come up here and they give you a cell phone, a place to stay, and some food to eat, I'm okay with that. I'm fine with that. I'm. I'm not. But you need to get your ass to work. Unless you're legal. No, if, no. If you're illegal, I'm, I'm, saying, I'm not happy with it. No, I'm saying, like, if you get grand amnesty. Okay, yeah. If you're if you're, if you're here, grand amnesty, and you make it up here legally, and they're like, okay, you're cool to come in. You're clearly not a terrorist. Get up here. Get to work. I'm fine with the cell Start phone and bullshit. Taxes and, yeah. Okay? Go ahead. Go ahead. But get to work. Okay? Let's make America better. Okay? Make, make, I, I'm cool again. with that. I, I And I've said this for many years, and I'll say it until the day I die. I will take any of those people that hate America living in their Mommy, and, them, mommy yeah. and daddy's fucking financial records. Living in their basement on Twitter. Going to college, getting fucking socialized <laughs> and commie, communized and wherever the fuck. Thinking Fidel Castro was a hero. I will, Navarro was a fucking great man. I will take any of those people, any of those Antifa supporting people. I will take all of them, and I am willing, like, if I had a magic wand, right, I will take all of those fucking college fucking student retard fucks, and I am willing to straight up trade them for any of the people of the world that are coming up from Mexico, Guatemala, wherever the fuck. And they just want to make a good life for their families. I'm willing to do that. I'm willing to do that. They want to put the work in. I'm willing to trade the privileged fucking retard fucking commies. Two for one. You guys get them. We'll take all the working class fucking families that just want a good life for their fucking families. They, they're willing to put in the work and do something to yeah. make their lives better because they know they they know the value of work. Yeah. To be like, if I work hard, I get paid. Yeah. And these fucking it, it literally is all these middle class yeah. fucking white fucking douchebags. Yeah. yeah. Like fucking Max. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, I didn't grow Who's Max? You know, Who's fucking him? that faggot Max. I don't know. Who is this? Blonde guy? hair, blue eyed. He looks like a, I don't know. He, he looks like a midget it? fucking. Uh, he was in the uh, my band with me in Hex of Christ. Oh, okay. And then he's like, I, I can't be in a band is, with you yeah. anymore because George Floyd died. And then you guys are like talking like good things about white people. I'm like, fuck you. Oh, but like, okay. you know, he grew up, his fucking, okay. his, 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 his dad has three houses. Oh, my God. In the yeah. avenues and shit. Yeah. And like, oh, my mama. And then he literally like went online saying like, every Mormon should die. And you're like, wasn't well, your mom Mormon? Yeah, she should die too. I'm like, I thought you loved Jeez. your mom. Like literally like, he's so into the fucking He like, hates and he's dating this fucking like halfy fucking jig. Jeez. And she's just like she's like he's like I'm yeah my mom should die. I'm better than <laughs> yeah, horrible. Like, like 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 some said isn't your mom That's Mormon? Horrible. He's like every Mormon it's should terrible. die. And he's like is your mom Mormon? He's like yeah. And like well do you want your mom to die? He's like unless she changes her religion she should die too. And I'm like dude you're a fucking dumb piece of shit. God damn And he's dude. dating like a half jig and he's like I would like, never say that about my mom. I love my fucking mom dude. Fucking Look. if someone says walked up to my mom and said that you need to die I'm like <laughs> I'm, I wouldn't even say anything I'm like come through you're me you're gonna first. die bitch. Yeah. <laughs> and that's like that's Look. how they are though. That's how oh, they are. Goodness. He grew up rich as fuck in the fucking Fancy as shit, and then oh no, your parents got divorced when you're 18. Boo hoo, bitch! Fuck off. My parents got divorced when I was 18 months old. <laughs> yeah, you know, fuck off. I, he, he's such a fucking poser, and it's like it's like oh, I'm I'm an activist. No, you're not. 
Is, is activism was... these days fucking a fucking grr? And uh, that's what it is. I don't even care who he's fucking. I'm just saying, like... No, he thinks he's, like, better than everybody because his girlfriend's, like, like, part black. But that's not a big deal. It's like, stupid. No, but that's, for them it is, though. For them it is. But it's no, a huge deal. There, there's a... There's a that's there's the a thing whole, about, like... Well, hang on now. There's a lot. There's a lot of black people who are very proud of this country. Very I proud. Know. That's the thing. Very proud. Their service to this country served in and what mil- happens? military and all that Joe, what to happens? this country. What happens when they talk about how proud they are to be American? They got called Uncle Toms and Coons. Yeah, well, fuck those people because they're the real. And who's races. calling them that? Who's calling them that? The lefties. a bunch of fucking the lefties, socialists, yeah. and commies. Of course, and they're all fucking rich white people. Yeah, of, co- of course, of course, yeah. Or thanks, pe- thanks, news. Or people who have bought into it. You know. People who buy into it. Did you see that shit on fucking, uh, about the fucking whistleblower and NPR? No, no. But. So if anybody's, if anybody's, uh, uh, listening to this and not from America, NPR is like the, uh, the government national. Something propaganda, is, yeah, it is. Radio station, it's a radio station that uh, it's funded by the government, but they're like, Oh, we're funded by viewers like you, you know. They get they get grants, yeah, they get yeah. lots of it's, government, it's government grants. news, and it's propaganda. And this guy just came out like this week saying, like, Yeah, it's like everybody that works there is like Democrats. Oh, and, they're and, worse than Democrats. No, they're they're like communists. Some some Democrats are pretty fucking reasonable. No, NPR is way. Uh-huh. Fucking there is left. not one single right wing person in NPR. Socialist, yeah. And they're like, he was like, he's like, he's he was talking about it. And he's like, I just, I wanted to let everybody know that the Biden administration has been telling us what to say. Of course they are. And I'm like, yeah, well, who trusts, who trusts government-funded, any media government-funded? Uh, oh, yeah, like, are you telling me that the fucking Russian government fucking news is telling lies? Are you telling me that the fucking North Korean fucking government news is fucking, like, not being truthful? No, it's bullshit. Yeah. Of course they're all lying. And I have a guy well, at work that that's, a- like, straight up, he's like, well, on NPR, they said, like, you believe the government news? You list? Do you seriously list? I used to be a truck driver, and I'd be in the middle of the desert, and the only thing you can get is NPR and AM. Yeah. And I listen to him like, you're a bunch of fucking lying assholes. And this is like literally like 20 years ago, <laughs> you know? Yeah. And I'm like, this is fucking horse shit. And this guy, one guy at work, he's like, yeah, well, it's, it, this is NPR. This is the most trusted news. It's like, this is no. like, I'm like, no, this is the no. most anti, this no, is like propaganda. <laughs> no. It's like, oh, uh, did you know what fucking Goebbels said? If you tell somebody something for two weeks, two weeks, this is what's happening. This is what's happening. This is what's happening. He talked. He was talk, You know. You know. You know. What I'm talking about the Nazi guy. Yeah. He. Uh, he's. He was. He was in charge of propaganda, and he said, "If you tell them for two weeks, they believe it. And even if you bring him in and have people smacking him around and say this is not true, they refuse to believe it. It's not true. He's like, this is the power of propaganda. Yeah. Oh no, propaganda is a very big thing. And the like, thing about the who thing, made it? Who the, made it? Who made it legal to? Uh, well, here's the thing, man. The uh, prop, propaganda anger. is very much a problem right now with the left, right? Because yeah. we have a we have a Democrat president, but we also it, it's. It's guilty on both sides. It is. No, it's like, terrible literally. on both sides. Like, no one's really telling the American public the truth. National security. So, where do you go for truth? Independent you know? news. 
independent news i think is what, what's up um there's a lot of things i watch and uh I, honestly it, it it if you're not if you don't know what independent news is um the best thing i can say is like uh look up tim pool yeah. guy was a super lefty yeah and he's pretty straight down the line but he's like very anti um not anti government but like anti yeah. like established government like propaganda like he's he talks shit on the left yeah talks shit on the right yeah if you if if you say something dumb he's gonna call it out but he yeah. is like he's literally like i'm voting for trump because yeah he's like i was running around he's been in like like chase out of countries yeah um, reporting and shit, and he's like, he's like, well, he's like, I hated Trump, and then when I started looking at what he was saying, he's like, this guy is fucking throwing out like Alex Jones conspiracy theories, and just like Alex Jones, they're right. Yeah, <laughs> and he, yeah. And, and he started yeah. realizing like, I mean, this guy's talking truth. Holy I mean, shit! Not all of Alex Jones, Alex Jones, yeah, shit well, yeah. is right. He's like, no you know. drama's like you know, but it's, I mean, it's, it's more true than. There have been things that Alex Jones said that I would like. Sandy to, Hook. I would. I would like to punch him in the fucking face for. I would like to fight him for. He turned the frogs yeah, gay. Yeah, no, the Sandy Hook thing. Yeah, no, I'd like to beat the fuck out of him for that. Like, look, Alex Jones. I like a lot of shit you say, but this ass beating that you're about to get from me, this fucking redneck fucking Kearns. <laughs> I don't give a flying fuck. You're about to get, catch his ass beating just for me because of that Sandy Hook shit. Like, yeah. straight up, this is, like, fucking... But he'd apologize for it. For, he's like, look, I he was did. wrong. And then they sued him. He did. Because they wanted he did. to shut him up. And there was that fucking trial where he was straight up fucking... Like, oh, and he's like, he's like, why'd you ask for Clinton's about that? <laughs> yeah. That shit was fucking no. great. He said some real shit in that fucking trial. Yeah. But about that fucking Sandy Hook shit, dude. You fucking my fucking kids get <laughs> killed in the shooting. Yeah. You're not getting an ass being, dude. I don't care. I'm putting you down, and I am happy to go to jail and join AB or wherever the fuck it is, dude. I would. I don't care. Like, yeah, if someone fucked with my kids, dude, no. fucking, I would no. fucking straight up be like, yeah, fucking, yeah, no. Fuck you! What if it was what, your kid? What, what, uh, what do I got to lose at that point? My kiddo is dead. Oh shit! Well, what do I got to lose? You rape my kid? Like, it's like that. I'll, what I'll, was that? I'll, uh, I'll get gangster as fuck. What was that dude? fucking? I don't uh, care. What was that UFC fighter that shot at the fucking dude cause for raping his kid? Vane, uh, a Cain Velasquez. Talked, yeah, yeah, yeah. We talked about that. And he's like, he's yeah, like, I who would not do that? So support Cain Velasquez. Who would not do that? I so support that dude, and I think he's great. And I think what he did was justified. And maybe a they little, should have put him on maybe a, shoulders and had a carnival for him. Maybe a little misguided because he shot the wrong people. Well, he just missed. However, he missed. However, not every not He's every not, not everyone could be so. a great shot. You yeah, know what right? I'm saying? Yeah. But fuck everyone in that car, and I uh, yeah, well, like King Velasquez. Like any, any parent, any big, parent, big was supporter. Like, we any parent love, was like, yeah, I'd do that. I'd fuck it straight up. Fucking yeah. do that, and if I fuck miss, yeah. I don't care. Yeah, I would, I would fucking at least have the chance. Yeah. Like that fucking. Uh, oh my god, this was in the eighties, and there's a thing where. Um, there was this guy, and he was like a, a karate teacher. He's in less than the oh, kids. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I know. And he's, all, he's all in his yeah. handcuffs, and they're walking, yeah. and the guy's like pretending he's on the phone. He's he comes up and shoots him. The phone. Yeah, fucking just bang, bang, bang. Close the and then guy's he just fucking drops, head up. Yeah, and he just drops a gun and puts his hand up. Like, yeah, I fucking killed that guy that fucking touched and my you kid. you know what? And I'm like, you're a hero. He got off. Yeah, I know. He fucking yep. got off, dude. <laughs> Probation. So great. And he deserved, you know what? So great. Everybody in that jury's like, that, I, I did the same fucking thing. That, that dude's a uh, fucking hero. Dude, that dude's hardcore, man. That fucking dude badass. is I a wish hero. I, could do, I wish I could do that. <laughs> oh, my God. I wish you get out of here. Yeah. Yeah, let's wrap right. it up and smoke a bowl. All right, we got one more song for you, though. This is this Who's is the playing? deep cut. What's up? This is War. Not 
<laughs> what is it good for? Um, That's also, this is a super also a good as, uh, Norwegian <laughs> super group that a lot of people know that. I think they only put the one album up. They might have had two, but this is like literally like uh, if you like a revenge and shit like what, that. What do you mean super group? Who's in it? Like, uh, why so is same off is in it from Emperor. Okay, Jay Reed from there actually is a song called Revenge on this. Oh shit! So no like, literally, like yeah. So like, <laughs> if you like Revenge and Conquer, it's got those guys and the guitars from Emperor and uh, God, I can't remember all who's in it. Let's look it up, man. War. Okay. And the album is called Total War. There you go. And it's got a bunch of skulls on and shit. But this song is, uh, uh, I guess you could take it as a little racist, but uh, it's not. It's just truth. You know what? Truth bombs dropping on your mom. Uh, truth bombs dropping in your... I don't know. Fuck it. It's fine. Yeah. You ready? Ready? Yeah, I'm right. ready. Hey, guys. Thanks for fucking hanging out. Fucking check out our socials. Yeah. This up at uh, rockoutpodcast at gmail.com if you got a band right. you want us to play or if you're fucking anything. Um, yeah, if you guys want us... I can't talk. If you guys want us to play your fucking band... Or review it or anything like that. It is up. If any of you guys want to support the podcast, because we really actually do need support at this point, monetary support, go ahead and send money to Joe CX at 1988 Spell gmail.com. J O E C X. No, no, they can figure it out. Joe CX 1980 at gmail.com at PayPal. Uh, you know, we maybe could, they're drunk as us. Go we we, we really could use the monetary support. Um, yeah, Spreaker is starting to charge us. We are trying to do, do. Sh- t-shirts. We're trying to do a tour down to El Paso. We really could use the I monetary a bunch support. Of money on a new fucking system. Saying, yeah, we got equipment. I'm, we got support. Anyway, Mike, go ahead and play a song. Yeah, man. Hey, us faggots. <laughs> he said faggots. <laughs> Faggot. He said faggots. That guy's gay. <laughs>